It is often said that OMAD or one meal a day improves your mental acuity. And there is some scientific evidence to back that up. Because I have been in OMAD for over 10 years now, I think I have some experiences in the matter. In this video, I'd like to show you some of the amazing benefits that OMAD has for your brain. So stick around, you don't wanna miss anything. Is it really possible that one meal a day makes us smarter? Or is that too good to be true? Let's take a simplified look at the science as I relate to you my own experience. But before I do that, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel right now and then click on the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Is it hard to believe that anything you eat, drink, or do without much effort would make you smarter? I do believe that flexing your mental muscle, so to speak, doing mentally demanding tasks will help. Personally, I wasn't much of a high performance student in my high school years. Then, at university, I went to the top of my class. All the while, I was learning a new language as I went to school and learned Portuguese in Brazil. I believe that the change of environment and studying subjects I enjoyed made me perform better. Back then though, my diet was not what it is today. It was a carbohydrate rich diet. In my mid twenties, I went to Canada first to polish my English and then to get a PhD in veterinary pathology. These were probably the most stressful, demanding and wonderful years of my life. These endeavors required the most from me, both mentally and physically. Yet neither my years in Brazil nor in Canada appear to compare to my mental accomplishments of the last 10 years since I started my OMAD regimen. Hi, I'm Ula. I'm Juan's wife. We've been together for over 40 years. Since 2009, Juan learned three additional languages, Italian, French, and German. Remember that he was already fluent in Spanish, his native language, Portuguese, and English. He also ran a pathology consulting business, traded the stock market with options, and also created a business of teaching options trading to others. He taught himself how to create websites from scratch and built five different websites, including one of mine. Four of them are still active. He even created some music using GarageBand. Lately, he has learned how to create videos for YouTube for both of our channels without much prior knowledge. Is this all the results of OMAD? I think so. are avidly oxidized by the heart, the skeletal muscle, and the brain. This is especially true during periods of fasting and extended exercise. People that intermittent fast routinely make a remarkable change in their metabolism that makes use of body fat for energy. This is called the metabolic switch, which typically occurs starting 12 hours after our last meal. At this time, there is a negative balance of energy because the liver and muscle stores of glycogen are depleted. It is then that fatty acids from our body fats are mobilized to the liver. There, the fatty acids are transformed into ketones to supply the missing energy. Our bodies learn to use stored fat and not our muscle mass or glucose from food to produce energy. This is how we can gain muscle and lose body fat at the same time. Besides being the preferred fuel source, ketones could extend human physical and mental performance beyond current expectations. From an evolutionary 
evolutionary point of view, it makes sense that fasting will help us maintain mental acuity. Carnivore species such as lions in Africa and wolves in the northern Rockies appear to hunt only once every one or two weeks. Since we evolved as hunter-gatherers, it makes sense that our best performance would be when we are fasting. I mean both mental and physical performance. Similarly, our ancestors, like both wolves and lions, cooperate in their hunting. Communication within a hunting party would appear critical too. Survival for a hunter species would depend on their abilities to switch from fat storing to fat mobilization for energy. When food is available, our insulin is high, so we store energy as fat. When food availability is low, we convert to a high level performance. In our evolution, individuals whose brains and bodies performed optimally in the fasted state had a survival advantage. We humans evolved a supremely adaptable species. We were able to fashion tools, make fire, and eventually domesticate animals, invent agriculture and food storage. Clearly, our adaptability was born of our cognitive abilities out of necessity. It would be interesting to determine the levels of ketones in primitive humans living today. Whenever you see primitive humans struggling to survive, they show unique adaptations to their environment. Most people at my age are less concerned with being smart as they are about not getting Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease or stroke or even a cognitive decline. This is a risk that increases with excessive energy intake in midlife. Animal studies show that fasting can delay the onset and progression of these diseases. Intermittent fasting does this by multiple mechanisms, including bolstering mitochondrial function, the formation of new synapses, and stimulating autophagy, neurotropic factor production, antioxidant defenses, and DNA repair. In simple terms, our brains may reach a greater potential thanks to intermittent fasting. Considering that I'm now 63 years old, keeping a sharp mind is very important to me. I don't want to sound boastful, but if Oman has anything to do with my mental acuity, the world should know about it, don't you think? I have been an Omadder for so long that it's only fair that you too learn from my experiences. And I'm only very happy to share. Thank you.